We're continuing to build the drum set using Audix microphones. We've had the kick drum, we added the snare drum, we've added overheads, and we've just talked about the D-series microphones on the rack toms. What's missing is some of the hi-hat. Mike's going to talk about how we can add the hi-hat into the mix. The last part of the mix is the hi-hat mic. It's a really important live because you can focus in and get the crispness of the hi-hat and add it into your overall drum sound. Here I'm using a small diaphragm condenser mic, the SCX-1. Great hi-hat mic. Now you notice I have it pointing directly down towards the top of the cymbal. This is a great position. It really captures a lot of the stick sound of the hi-hat. One of the things that happens with the mic in this position is because of the cardioid pattern is that it gets a lot of bleed from the snare drum. A second mic position I would use would be to do something quite similar except point the mic away from the snare drum towards the outside of the drum set. And this will minimize some of the bleed of the snare drum into the hi-hat mic. This is a good example about how the hypercardioid nature of the element on the microphone is really looking at a specific part. And so what you've done there is you've rejected all the nearby instruments like the snare drum and the nearest rack tom. Yeah, I'm using the microphone's pickup pattern to my advantage. Here's a quick tip. This is a hi-hat miking position you don't want to use. Notice the microphone's pointed right at the edge of the hi-hat. This is where all the air comes out of hi-hat when I play them. So what happens is you get a really poppy sound and it's, it's just plain ugly.